Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video. Today I've got an aperture die video for you and I'm going to use this die. So the first thing I'm going to do is die cut the apertures in the front panel of the card. So my card blank is five by seven inches. I've got a panel that's a little bit smaller all the way around. So I'm thinking of having my butterflies in the top right corner. I've got a few more here like this. I might have those down there and split the aperture as it were. So I'll hold those in place with a sticky note, which hopefully won't leave any marks or indentations and run that through my cuttle bug to cut the aperture. So there we have the two apertures. I'm gonna keep the wings in there because I might use those for another card. I want to add some color behind my apertures so i've chosen this tattered lace embossing folder i'm not gonna emboss with it i'm gonna use it a bit like a background stamp and i want to choose some colors to stamp with so this is my current color swatch color ink swatch i'm thinking warm lipstick a spice marmalade and wild honey so i'm just going to add some ink using my ink pads oops don't want to contaminate them so i'm just going to be fairly careful about overlapping the colors although it shouldn't matter too much with the wild honey and spice marmalade so just gently adding color there's a few little bits from the ink pads I'll just take those off in fact what I'm going to do is go all the way across this 8 by 8 inch embossing folder Because I only need five by seven inches but I can use the leftovers and now I'm going to just add a mist of water over this until I can see the ink bead up and that way I'll know there's enough water on there and now I've got a bit of mixed media paper you can use any cardstock really and I'm gonna pop that like that but I'm not going to run it through my embossing folder I'm just going to stamp. I'm going to flip this over actually and then I can see what I've got on the other side. Lift that up carefully and now I've got a lovely watercolory background and that can just be rinsed under the tap. And I'll dry this with my hair dryer. Obviously you can ink up the other side of the embossing folder and then you'll get colour on the pattern rather than on the background. But I wanted the colour on the background so I had lots of colour rather than lots of white, if you see what I mean. Just thinking which bit to take from, I don't think it really matters. I think we will do something like that. I do want to have a little bit of separation between the front panel and the colourful panel. So I'm going to run craft foam or foam tape all the way around the outside and have a few bits in the middle to support it. I've taken all the release paper off of there and now I'm going to add this on top of my background. And I'll add a thin layer of my high tech glue on the back of there and then get that stuck on there. To embellish this card, I've got this whimsical flower die set. I'm thinking I'll cut the petals in vellum, maybe do two layers of those. And then this I'm going to cut, I think I'll try it in gold and I'll try it in maybe black and we'll see what it looks like. So we get these little outlines. I think I like those in gold. I'm 
can put the petals on. You don't actually have to match up. You can have another layer like that. And then you've got this, which you could have in black, although that kind of needs to go on top of those, doesn't it? Black's a bit much old works. A few offset vellum petals in there, I think. So maybe a bit of glue on there and rotate it like that. Have a bit of glue on there. For this, which way up, that way up maybe, you can wipe off any visible glue later. And then just spread a little bit of the PVA out there, press that down into it, and the stem. Trying to decide where to put it now. I think there. I'm going kind to of gently pick up a little bit of glue. I think by the time everything's stuck down, you're not going to see the glue on the back of the vellum. Just have a few petals. We don't need all all six. So my sentiment says, sending sunshine to brighten your day, which I think goes well with the colours on here. I've popped some glue on the back with a couple of little bits of card to support it because it's going to go over this little bit of stem. I want to give my flower a bit of a centre. You could use an enamel dot for that. I'm going to use white Nouveau drops because I think that works with the rest of the card. And at the moment it's sort of clean and simple because we've got a fair bit of white space left, but I want to add some splatters. The only thing I really don't want to get the splatters on is the sentiment. So I'm just going to cover that up more or less with a bit of paper just to keep that clean. And I've got some pink metallic paint here. This is Prima Metallic Accent paint. And I'm just gently spattering along the diagonal that we've got there. I think I should have put the Nouveau drop on after I spattered, but that's okay. A little bit of colour won't hurt. And now we have a less clean and simple card, but I like the addition of the spatters. I think it gives it lots of energy, which matches the floating, fluttery nature of the butterflies in the background. Right, that's this card finished. I do hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you an idea of what you can do with some of the things in your stash. I do have a video in which I show you how to create your own butterfly aperture dies or use your existing dies to create butterfly aperture and I'll link that above and in the video description if you want to watch that because you don't actually need the same die that I've got. Right, thanks for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.